హలో వెల్కమ్ టు లేరీ మాస్టర్ ఆర్కిటెక్ట్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ వీడియో ఐ స్పోక్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు పాస్ సర్టిఫైడ్ కుబర్నటీస్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటర్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ ఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఫ్యూ ఎన్హాన్స్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ కుబర్నటీస్ వన్ పాయింట్ వన్ నైన్ రెడీస్ ద న్యూ సీకే ఎగ్జామ్ విల్ యూస్ కుబర్నటీస్ వన్ పాయింట్ వన్ నైన్ యాజ్ అన్ ఎగ్జామ్ కాంపనెంట్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ యూ టు లెర్న్ దిస్ రిలీజ్ అండ్ న్యూ ఎన్హాన్స్మెంట్స్ టు పాస్ ద సికే ఎగ్జామ్ ద వన్ పాయింట్ వన్ నైన్ రిలీజ్ హ్యాస్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ ఎన్హాన్స్మెంట్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ ఫోర్ ఐ గివ్ ఫ్యూ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎన్హాన్స్మెంట్స్ ఫర్ యూ టు నో అండ్ లెర్న్ in the description of the youtube video i give the kubernetes release notes link you can refer them for other enhancements let's go to the presentation what's new in kubernetes 1.19 from redpepi.com today is 31 august 2020 in vancouver canada Kubernetes 1.19 comes with 34 enhancements. 10 of them are stable, general availability, 15 beta and 9 alpha brand new enhancements. First we talk about few enhancements that became stable, GA. A good news for operations manager. Previously, Kubernetes supported a specific version only for the 9-month period. Now they extended the period to one year. It will be four releases to support. Look at the graph here. It was uh, done by working group, long-term support community. The three releases, 1.10, 1.11 and 1.12, that was supported by kubernetes during the time customers were still using 1.6 1.7 1.8 and 1.9 so for more than 3 to 6 months period several customers used an unsupported kubernetes version in production now with a one year time frame they can move forward they have enough time to upgrade the cluster it's a stable release no permanent beta features previous versions of kubernetes a beta was staying for a long time once the developers started using the beta version they became comfortable so there was no motivation to make those apis stable in kubernetes 1.19 once a feature graduates to beta it will be deprecated in 9 months after three releases for example the beta feature in 1.19 will be deprecated in 1.22 and removed from 1.25 version it gives some discipline in the software development and how to use the beta features so the beta feature should become stable or the community should introduce a new feature to replace the beta otherwise it will be deprecated it's a stable general availability in the architecture group ingress we all know ingress object it allows external http and https traffic to services running in the cluster it also manage load balancing terminate ssl and provide name based virtual hosting it was introduced in 1.1 now the api now reaches stable in 1.19 feature group networking stable redis seccom seccom is the linux kernel security facility it helps the system to restrict applications to make system calls Kubernetes use it to keep your pods secure. It was an alpha feature in 
now it becomes stable in 1.19. This set comp can be used in pod security policies to direct the pod how to make those system calls. Feature group, node, stable, general availability. Next, we look into some beta features. Deprecation warnings. It's a very, very good feature in 1.19. When the API gets deprecated, it keeps giving the message to the administrators and developer with the following details. When the API was introduced, when it will be deprecated, and when it will be removed. It can also include extra remediation information like if there is a new version available and what those migration steps are. It is the motivation from the no permanent beta concept. Feature group, API machinery, stage beta. Support container runtime container D on Windows. Container D is an OCA compliant container runtime that works with Kubernetes and has support for the host container service, HCS version 2 in Windows Server 2019. This enhancement introduces Container D 1.3 support in Windows as a container runtime interface. So whenever the users add the Windows node, they can use Container D in the Windows machine as a runtime. Feature group, Windows, Stage, Beta. Immutable secrets and config maps. It's a beautiful feature, beta, feature group, storage. In version 1.19, a new immutable flag has been added to secrets and config maps. It protects the cluster from ac accidental bad updates that would break the applications. Also, they're not going to change because it is immutable. So the kubelet doesn't need to periodically check for the secrets and config map updates that will improve the performance of the API server. Just like how we create a new container, if you want to new secrets, if you have to create a new secret, you can't update the existing one by enabling the flag to true. Next, some alpha features. No debugging. You can run kubectl alpha debug to create a troubleshooting pod in the host OS namespace. It stays outside of your application pod, so you do not need to restart the pod for troubleshooting, or you don't, or you don't have to enter into the container itself. Uh, it can just monitor and check the file system, execute additional debugging utilities, and check for the network request by staying outside stage alpha feature group node generic ephemeral inline volumes ephemeral volumes are volumes that are created for specific parts and deleted after the part terminates the functionality of ephemeral volume drivers implemented directly in Kubernetes, such as empty directory, secrets, and config map, is limited. If you change the storage plugin, you have to upgrade the storage plugin to make that work again. Now, what Kubernetes tries to do, they give you a simple API to define inline ephemeral volumes, so it doesn't matter which storage driver you use that will support the dynamic provisioning of volumes. Stage, alpha, feature group, storage. Storage capacity tracking. This enhancement tries to prevent pods to be scheduled on nodes connected to container storage interface volumes without enough free space available. It keeps gathering capacity information on the volumes and storing the information on the API server. If there is no enough storage for the pod to be working, it tells the scheduler not to schedule the pod on the specific volume. Stage alpha feature group storage. Other notable changes, kubelet client TLS certificate rotation, node topology manager, another great feature 
uh, data science components, machine learning, and artificial intelligence needs the process to work on the specific CPU. Before 1.19, the load is sharing among multiple CPUs. Now, using Node Topology Manager, you can pin the load on a specific CPU so you can get better performance. Azure Disk Entry to CSA Driver Migration Beta Feature. Every CSA driver is a kind of a entry into Kubernetes. It is hard to manage. Now, they give the plugin to connect to them. It's a beta feature. Adding app protocol to services and endpoints. Kubernetes will not depend upon cloud provider definition to define the application protocol. Now we can define them inside Kubernetes. Allow users to set your pods host name to a fully qualified domain name. You can write FQDN inside the pod definition so it can work better with legacy systems. You can look at the release notes and read about all 34 enhancements if you want to, but I give you all the major enhancements that are very important to know. Learn Kubernetes 1.19 from me. It is a very important release. I prepare a course for you, Certified Kubernetes Administrator course that will be released on October 15th. You go to redpepe.com and use the promo code DOBABYCKA2020 to buy this course. This course will help you to learn Kubernetes 1.19 and also pass the certification. Thank you for watching.